Hi, good uh, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for another Puzzle Library Live Tidbit Tuesday. We have with us Miss Leslie. If you've been with the library for very long, you definitely recognize her. And she is going to teach us some wonderful things today. Miss Leslie, what are we going to learn today? Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Leslie Galvin, and I am a yoga teacher and instructor at Moxie Fitness. And I have a 500-hour certification, so lots of stretching in my life lots of breathing yeah and even with this beautiful mask i think you got as well um we have definitely talked a lot this past year about how we're at home a little bit more often we're sedentary a little bit more often and how we can how we can kind of break that up and how we can make that a little bit more manageable in our bodies and in our minds so absolutely i think we all get um now that we're working from home we get a little trapped in the work yeah, there's not as many breaks because we can do it all day at home. So we need to take some stretch breaks, some movement breaks. Absolutely. Teach us what we can do, Miss Leslie. Okay, so let's say you're working hard away at your desk and then at some point your shoulders start to feel a little bit tight, right? Your your head starts to hurt a little bit because the neck is, is a little bit pinched. Your hands, your carpal tunnels, we all know about that. Yes. So today we're just gonna we're gonna do a few things and you can go moderate, you can go a little bit more in depth. It's really up to you. Um, my job is just to show you several different things depending on what's ailing you right okay. then. Excellent. Easiest thing to do first and foremost is just to take a, a moment to readjust the posture. So you're gonna place both feet on the floor. You're gonna to begin to sit up a little taller, and then you're gonna roll the shoulders back and down and Bethany, you're standing and you I'm can do it. Up. I can still do, do it. it, girl. Sometimes <laughs> you might have a bare desk. Maybe you're able to stand up a little bit while you work, but you still feel a little hunched in Absolutely. towards your screen, that type of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. I think often, as soon as we can broaden through the collarbones and then we can draw back it through the shoulder blades, we start to feel a little better. We start to breathe a little easier. Feel a little more open. Absolutely. Absolutely. I see that. Yeah. So, and then this can mean one shoulder at a time. We can take this forward and back to kind of find where those spots are a little sticky, if you will. Ooh, loosen that up. Oh, yeah. Little bit there. Loosen that up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then totally. once, once we've done that, the next thing I want to offer is that you can drop your head back just a tiny bit. Tuck the chin in just a little bit and notice that it engages the abdominals and you start to get that little corset, just like if we were at the Home Depot and we were wearing our back brace. We start oh. to feel a little better. Instead of slouching forward, all of a sudden we, so, we've- like back. Yeah, it really is. It's about getting the skull in, in line with the spine. Okay. Once more. Feel it and as a society, we are tipped forward, naturally. Here we are, we're looking and we're working. We're running, we're doing, we're mm -hmm. forward. So we're we don't even realize forward. that we are. So we, we have to really think about it like and be that. mindful to bring that back. Yeah, I like that. All right, good. That's super helpful. <laughs> I already feel lighter. <laughs> From here, we can just sort of rest the hands and they can be up or down. You can, the hands are okay. And then what I'd like to do is just guide through the breath. And um, basically what you're gonna do is take an inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Oh, there's the motor. Oh yeah. It's like a brain wash. It is. And then inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. And then this time as you take that in, the invitation is to bring it down through the belly. Exhale. And feel that belly hug in just a little bit. And then inhale through the nose. And exhale through the belly again. Feel how, that hug in. And how often we don't take deep breaths we as don't. we work. No, and then our mind is not on that. The more shallow the breath is, the more anxiety we produce. It's, it's a natural neurological function. So it, just simply taking that moment can often clear the mind and uh, help you negotiate the next movement even better. Yeah. So that little brain break is really what we need. It's not just breathing. It is your brain taking the break. It is a brain break, yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. In yeah. the best way, a brain break. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, to make you more productive later. More or, oxygen yeah. is yeah. good. Yeah, more oxygen in your brain. We, I think that helps. I think it helps. I feel like we're going to sing Wheels on the Bus soon. We're not going to. Um, you and I can do that later. Oh. You and I can sing Wheels that later. Days. 
Yeah. Okay, I want to <laughs> offer a few things for the wrist. So um, often we don't realize because we're type, type, typing, we're doing whatever we're doing, but we're manipulating with all these tiny muscles and tendons. So just a super smooth um, roll of the wrist, and you can get a little belly dancer if you oh, want. Oh, okay, that's, that's, you. that's where it goes. That's on you, man. That's how it goes. But here are two things. We want to roll in both directions, and we want to get it above the heart. Oh. We just want to change that up. Look how nice. Change the we look. Up. We look like we could, yeah. We this can put on a, a skirt and do some dancing. This is a thing. Yeah. So automatically, again, this is going to boost your mood because you're doing this funny little thing. Now, <laughs> we're going to bring this back down. No one I, can <laughs> see you when you're at home working no. by yourself. Make sure that your video is turned on for that. Right. Yeah. But notice how much better your hands feel. Yeah. All of the puffiness goes away. Absolutely. I brought a few of my handy dandy balls. This one's a spiky ball. And I don't know. Do you want to take it up? Zoom it. Take it right up. Take a look at this spiky ball. Yeah. Yeah. Super cute. And then that's going to get into a little bit more of that of that movement right here. You can just roll it and it, your hard desk is perfect. You can use your tennis ball as well. You want to get it right here. But then here's the good juice. You want it right here. Oh, you want on the it back underneath. of the wrist. Mm -hmm. If you can roll something around on the back right here, you're really going to help out all of these little tendons that work the hand. Excellent. Each tarsal. So, Excellent. tarsal. Tarsals your feet. Tarsals are your feet. <laughs> Tarsals are your hands. <laughs> Back to yoga. Okay, <laughs> let's take a nice little stretch. It. Say we've got five minutes to ourselves before we start our next project. So, we're going to take this nice belly breath again. And then we're going to take the hands all the way up and stretch high overhead. And if you can get your arms close to your ears, do. Oh, you want yeah. them here instead of out in front. That's your goal. Look at that. Oh, perfect. I like it. And then we're going to take the stretch and the twist. So this right or left right arm for you <laughs> is going to come over. And then you just simply take the stretch. Now, again, belly breath, can, nice exhale. Can, are we okay to do this while standing? Mm -hmm. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like this. Great. Definitely. And then let the neck follow. So you're gazing over the back of your shoulder. Yeah. And then inhale back through center. Stretching tall. And then exhale, other side. Oh, yeah, this green armchair is perfect. So it's something you definitely can do in and any chair, at home, on the floor, on the floor standing, standing, however. however you want, come back through. Now here's the big finale. Over we go. Oh, you're asking a lot, Miss Oh, Leslie. I know how. Oh, you can't touch your toes. I can't touch my oh, toes. Oh, that was Destiny's goal, 2019. Uh, it's happened. Woo! And then inhale, roll it back up. Let your head be relaxed like that. Very now, good. One last thing, and you can do it standing. Oh, oh. Foot comes over. Okay. Figure four. Oh, yeah. Twirl the ankle and the toes. Oh, yeah. I want to do this foot. Do it. Get it going. Oh. And then for the piece de resistance, you come forward and you're not. Oh, yeah, Bethany. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, my gosh. I've okay, never, our viewers are loving I've this one. I've never even done yoga. This is very interesting. <laughs> And then this is so good for your hips. That's the, I feel like hip oh. flexors that get very tight when you sit very on Very tight. Then we want to do a little bit of a lean if we like. So often when we have one leg up or we're, doing, we're shifting to one side, what happens is the QL, the muscle that holds the hip to the spine in the back, one side is shortened, one side is being stretched. We end up with a little bit of back issue or okay. an ache. Okay. So we just want to stretch it out and we give it a little half moon stretch, if you will. And <laughs> we can go this way first. So we'll take our right hand up and over and just stretch to the side, dropping this left shoulder and stretching into it. Look at Bethany, can really stretch. All that dancing is paying the off, my friend. The dancing does pay off. And then take it over to the other side, because you know you want to. Well, yeah, we want to be even. Yep. And now here, if you want to go a little further, looking up towards the elbow, drawing elbow back just a little bit more, really working into the side body. Ooh. Yeah. And then inhale back up. 
Oh my goodness, who feels clearer? I already feel better. <laughs> and so don't forget, this video will be posted on our Facebook page. You can turn into it anytime that you want, just for that little like brain break, like Miss Leslie said, to center yourself during your work day. Yeah. When you have a spare 10 minutes and are feeling maybe a little overwhelmed, a little cranked, a little crunched. To loosen things up a bit. That's great. That's all we've got today, Miss Leslie. I think it's I great. Think it's great. I think we've done some really great work today. I definitely feel looser <laughs> and a little more relaxed. And it's always good to do this with a fun with friend, friend, a fun friend like Miss Leslie. <laughs> Thank you guys so Thank much you. for tuning in. Have a spectacular <laughs> Tuesday. Bye.